Brandon Styles here. We're hanging out in uh, Gulf Shores, Alabama. It's a tourist destination where my show is, and uh, I'm gonna introduce my lovely wife, Diamond. Diamond, everybody. I'm not ready for this video, so I'm gonna be behind the camera today asking Brandon some questions, real and raw, about Brandon Styles um, and how he became an impressionist. So. And if you don't know Diamond, she is uh, she's my wife and manager. She produces shows, she does comedy festivals, and produces my show and a lot of others, so she books different acts and things, so fire away. All right, Brandon, what age did you start impressions? I'm not sure if they knew that, but what age did you start, did I start impressions? Um, impressions, I started at uh, seven years old. So How old are you now? I'm 33, so it's, it's been a little while. Um, I was a little Michael Jackson, you know, growing up in full costume, doing talent shows in third grade. So um, I lived and breathed it. Yeah. What I do. How did you know entertainment was going to be a career and not just a hobby? I guess when I, I was, uh, when I was born, I came out singing Michael Jackson, <laughs> um, and I just knew right then. Okay. <laughs> Who's your favorite person to impersonate? Uh, I, I really don't have a favorite. There's there's so many different people that I do. Um, if I had to narrow it down to some of my favorites to impersonate, like you said, I probably Michael Jackson. He's one of the reasons why uh, I got into what I do. I perform. I like doing Janis Joplin and Mick Jagger, to most of the greats. Right. How many impressions can you do? How many impressions can I do? I can do. I do hundreds of impressions. It's kind of how many do you do, do you do good? I think I'm well over 200. If that answers the question. Um, doing good. I mean, I got 60 impressions. I have two different impression shows, so you know, I do 100, 120 that are in the shows that are really, really good. Okay. And how do you choose what artists go in your shows? Choosing the artists that goes in the shows. Um, if that's a good question. If you have, uh, they have to be artists that aren't going to go anywhere. They have to be established artists. Most of the big top artists that everyone recognizes. I can't put any names that aren't big. Um, and uh, a lot of the older songs that you hear, um, they stick no matter what. And they don't go anywhere. The newer music today, um, someone comes out with a hit and it's replaced by 20 other hits by new artists on top of other artists. And the songs die out quick, but Elton John songs, you mean like legendary songs, they never leave. So, um, yeah, I choose legends, and then I add in the newer artists um, that I feel that, that makes it worthwhile. How many impressions, or, okay. who's been the most challenging to learn and practice? I get, yeah, impressions take time. Some of them come in a week, some of them come in two weeks, some I'm working on I never thought I could even do. Like, I never thought I could sound like Barack Obama, and it was really hard for me. Like, um... Look, 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 let me be let me get the point. When I started doing that, I couldn't do that at all. It took me, like, two weeks, and I didn't even know how to start. So, uh, so it takes a while, but, uh, to answer your question, it'd be Aaron Neville. Because his vocal, his vocals are so, um... They're all over the place and they're hard to control. If you're gonna do him well, if you're gonna mock him and make fun of him, it's not hard. But to go, <laughs> to be able to control that, it's just, it takes time. Speaking of mocking these celebrities, how do you choose? Like most of the impressions in your show are real, true impressions of them. How do you pick who you mock? <laughs> I don't know. It, it really comes down to what's funny to me. I mean, when I make a joke or, I, or something comes, it's not. I don't really pick them out. It's more of a. I'll be singing a song, a funny song of, you know, like I do CeeLo Green or Marike or Creed. These different, these different people. Um, but I would be singing them normally, and learning their voice and getting it down really good. And then I would just happen to change the lyrics. I thought something was funny. And then I would say, oh my gosh, that has to go on the show. And it comes that way. I don't really like pick and choose. 
Um, if the lyric makes sense and it's really funny, I just run with it. So you do, do you just do what you think is funny and then see if your audience likes it? Yeah. But most of the time they do. <laughs> I had a few that were uh, a little <laughs> a little different that I tried and didn't work, but most of the time, um, yeah, we get great reactions. Tell me about your Justin Bieber wig. My Justin Bieber wig? Oh, uh, um, well, we got different costumes and things, and it's hard to find wigs, and not all of them look the way that I want them to look. Um, so Justin Bieber uh, wig, I couldn't find one, and I put this, I seen this wig, and I just looked at it, and I put it on, and it, it looked horrible, and then I twisted it around this way, and I was like, oh my goodness, and I whipped it, and it was, it was perfect, so I wear that wig backwards every show, and the old Justin Bieber hair, the old, the old, old I went old school, I want you to change your Justin Bieber, you want me to change it, yeah. Um, how much time do you spend practicing, and how do you practice these? How do you how do you actually learn them? Um, learning them is a uh, is a procedure for me. Um, YouTube's been a lot of help. When I started, I didn't have a lot of the YouTube. I had to go find the original videos, and I'd look at live performances on a on a TV, and then I would run. Um, like really high-end karaoke's and things and then I would uh, learn the voice get the voice down how I wanted it once I conquered the voice I'd move on to um, basically uh, the mannerisms uh, the charisma that the artist brings to the stage and I would mimic that and then I would put it together and then uh, that's how I get my artists to uh, to form to hone them but with it being an impressionist it seems um, you have to have a gift vocally uh, to be able to practice them. You, you can't just like start singing like this. I, I have a, I was gifted a uh, high octave and low, and I have an awesome voice that uh, God gave me. So it's kind of just like magic in itself, right? It's magic in itself. Yeah, it's a gift. All right. A lot of practice, but still good. I think that's all the questions. We good? Yes. Yeah. Say bye. My beautiful Say bye baby. Bye bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thank you. High five.